Welcome back everyone to Stadiums of the World. Today we're in the Twin Cities touring Target Field. Home of the Minnesota Twins and located on the northwest side of downtown in Minneapolis, Minnesota by the Target Center. Where in center field you can see Minnie and Paul shaking hands across the Mississippi River. Every photo you see today was taken by me. Don't forget to write in the comments section what you like about the stadium. And with that, let's start the tour. Target Field opened in 2010 and currently has a capacity of 39,504. There's a lot of angles to the stadium when you look around. It kind of reminds me of Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. And I got to say, out of all the Major League Baseball stadiums I've been to so far, this is probably my favorite one. One of the first things I like about this stadium is, you know, the lower level is below ground, which isn't that uncommon, but they really show it off. You know, you look at right field and they're using, you know, kind of the earthwork as the wall, you know, it's obviously covered up, but you can just kind of really tell where the retaining walls are as you walk around the stadium, which I think is kind of unique. Another feature of this ballpark is there's a lot of seating in the outfield, kind of the opposite of the last stadium I did, which was Chase Field. There's almost no seating in the outfield. You know, there's other baseball stadiums that have some seating, but this one, you know, you have multi-deck seating in the outfield, which makes it pretty unique and I think pretty cool. Out of all the outfield seating, the triple deck in left field was what I was most excited to check out in person. I'd seen photos of it, and from the photos, it looked like, you know, the the upper decks, they kind of leave it out, almost overhanging the field is what it looked like. And if you see it in person, it is really pretty crazy. You know, most upper decks, they kind of taper as they go back. And this one, it stacks vertically. The second level is, is basically right aligned with the field, and it's pretty wild to see. And in this photo, you can see the seating coming you know, all the way down to the foul pole. And then you have this truss system. And the other thing to note is the kind of the triple uppermost deck actually kind of comes down and lands on the truss framing below. And this is showing kind of the uppermost deck in that kind of three tiers of seating. And the column in the middle of the photo, it's the one that tracks down to the truss system below. So definitely something that's unique to the stadium. Another thing I really like about this stadium is the exterior. It has, you know, a beautiful stone facade, which is made out of local limestone. And the other thing you can see here is they have a lot of these kind of glass enclosed areas that, are, that cantilever out. So something that's very unique that you don't see other other ballparks. And this photo really captures that limestone and the glass enclosures and the cantilevers and just something that I think just goes together really well and makes makes the architecture really stand out for this ballpark. This photo is showing the other side of that glass enclosure on the previous photo and it's actually the Truly on Deck which is a hangout location that's in right field and in front of that you can see here there's this area that's it's ground level when you walk in that has all sorts of games and stuff so really a fun area to be in the stadium. In right field, you have Target Plaza, and when you walk in, you have the game area, and this is kind of what I was greeted with the first time I was in the stadium. You know, there's people playing cornhole and things like that, and just something I'd never really seen before at a, at a ballpark, so it's pretty cool to see. And this is just a good view of Target Plaza, kind of overlooking that whole area. You can see in the background, that's Target Center, and that's where the you know Minnesota Timberwolves play, just to give you a little bit of perspective of where you are. On the other side of the stadium, where left field in the corner meets the outfield, for my drinkers out there, they have this you know, multi-level glass structure you can see there, and that's just multi-levels of bars and, and breweries that you can drink at that I would highly recommend checking out. This is a close-up of that area. You can see Summit Brewing Pub, and when I went there, I was able to go up to each level, so it's, it's not closed off, and I would, I would definitely recommend kind of seeing what's at, what's at each tier. This is at the Summit Brewing Pub level, and one thing to note about this stadium, depending upon where you are in the stadium, it has absolutely gorgeous views of downtown, uh, probably one of the better ones I've seen. You know, Philadelphia has downtown, but it's it's a long ways away. This one's right there. It, it doesn't have the bridges that Pittsburgh has, but still, still a very good view. Walking around the concourse, they're you know they're very open and clean, not nothing too exciting. One thing that I thought was interesting though is they have a soffit that conceals all the framing. A lot of times you, it's all exposed. You look up, you can still see the steel trusses and stuff, and definitely not the case when you look at this photo. It's always interesting to see what 
different ballparks do with the batter's eye. This one's you know, pretty boring. It's green, green wall. They used to have trees in center field, but the players complained about it. So right now it's pretty boring. Above it, though, is definitely worth checking out, and we'll, we'll explore that next. Above the batter's eye, they have multiple levels of standing room or social places to be. You have the Delta Sky 360 suite for more of the dining experience and then for the more general public, it's standing room only as you walk around. And, you know, one thing I noticed about this stadium is it's a really not a bad seat in the house no matter where you are. And, you know, even being in center field in the outfield, is it was a really, really good view of, of what was going on during the game. Another thing to note is it doesn't matter what level you are in the outfield. You can get from left field to right field and walk completely across. And you can see here there's standing room only all the way through. So it's really kind of nice as the game's going on to, you know, walk around, stop, watch the game in between pitches and, and kind of make that progression of out feeling like you had to kind of hurry, hurry by. And then, you know, you're missing part of the game, but you want to see the stadium. So this pretty nice, nice about the stadium. The roof canopies at Target Field are very unique to MLB. Uh, I'd say probably the closest thing I've seen to it is the Philadelphia Eagles Stadium, kind of like a lot of other architecture. The comparison between the two stadiums is pretty similar, uh, but just definitely something to check out when you're there. Don't forget to look up. There's been a lot of talk recently in Major, Major League Baseball about the upper decks and how the old school stadiums had these large upper decks and now the newer stadiums are going to kind of go into smaller split level upper decks and this is a good example of that. This has a very small upper deck and split level and it kind of seems like, you know, there's almost four levels instead of three. So it just really kind of shows that off in the stadium. In this photo, you can see the video board above the stands in left field. And as of the start of 2023 season, they got a brand new large video board. When I went, it was smaller. So this is the old video board. So one thing to notice, if you go there now, you'll see a much larger one than that. In this photo, you can see the Budweiser sign on top of the structure we talked about earlier that had all the pubs. And at the very top where the Budweiser sign is, kind of in that area, they have a bonfire, which is the only one in Major League Baseball, which is another unique thing about the stadium. If you look in right field, they have seating that overhangs the home run fence. And in front of that, they have potted plants that I think just gives it a nice touch. I went to a game at Target Field in the middle of August. It was a game started around 6 o'clock at night, I believe, and it was 80 degrees at game time. Absolutely beautiful weather that day. Wear a t-shirt and shorts, was not hot or too cold the whole game. So just something to note if you want to go that time of year. If you're outside the stadium, they have a street that runs underneath the stadium that goes from center field to left field. Behind the outfield on the other side, running from center field to left field, is a light rail line that runs along the stadium. It is Minneapolis and it gets really cold and you walk around the stadium, there's bridges connecting everything everywhere. And you can see here there's a bridge that runs from the parking garage to the stadium. So just something to note. Every video, I like to throw in a photo of myself at the stadium, just showing that I was actually there. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate that. Don't forget to write in the comments section what stadium you want me to do a video on next. And with that, take care.